G'day, I'm Carlos Sand. Today, I want to discuss one of the big issues in world politics. Todd Carney, sacked by the Cronulla Sharks for a photo leaked to social media allegedly showing him uh, pissing into his own mouth. Now, has there ever been an injustice anywhere in the world greater than this one? Well, yes. Uh, actually, there's, there's been quite a few. In fact, while our, our government jails more than 1,000 children in isolated prison camps for no crime other than the fact they happen to be born to families that need to flee their homelands for safety, I think on a scale of injustice of 1 to 100, Todd Carney no longer being overpaid to run around in tight shorts on a pitch wrestling other thick-necked buffheads barely struggles to reach even one. But on the hypocrisy scales, this is through the fucking roof. And the reasons have got nothing to do with Carney or his euro. In any way, why exactly are we meant to care what some dickhead wants to try and piss in his own gob in the dodgy dunnies of some shit club after his team get slaughtered by the manly sea eagles? Which surely is a real crime here. Losing to those bloody goddamn North Shore Tony Abbott backed manly bastards. If Todd Carney's idea of a good night out is to be in some shit club toilets pissing in his own mouth, surely that is entirely a matter for him. We all have our own ways to unwind. Look, no one has ever accused Todd Carney of being in any way highbrow. But if we went around banning sports people just because they were slightly gross dickheads, there'd be so few available for selection, I could probably get a run on a half board flank for the Essendon Bombers. But what is so outrageous about this, so incredibly offensive about this, is that while Todd Carney, for hurting no one, gets immediately sacked, immediately sacked, this is a code whose players have faced repeated allegations of serious acts of violence against women, ranging from domestic violence through to rape and gang rape. And yet, nothing happens to those players. Nothing at all. In fact, in 2012, there was a petition started in a desperate and futile bid to convince the NRL they needed to sack two players who had actually been found guilty of domestic violence. And the rape allegations have unfortunately and tragically just kept coming. In fact, the club that just sacked Todd Carney was the centre of a very serious gang rape allegation that, that aired in the infamous Four Corners show in 2009. Nothing happened to any of those players. In fact, such a gang rape allegation has proven no hindrance whatsoever to his very successful media career. Has it, Matty Johns? And that fact is one million times more sickening, stomach-churning and unspeakably foul than anything Todd Carney could ever do to himself with his own bodily fluids. I'm Carlos Sands and that's my corner.